So the gradient function can tell me the gradient of a tangent line at any point on the curve that I like. Okay, I just need to substitute that x value in, and then I get the gradient of the tangent line. So if I've got any old curve, right, then what I mean by a tangent line is one that will just brush the curve at one particular point. Okay, so that would be a tangent line for that point. Let's say I wanted the tangent line for that point. So that would be this line here. Okay, being careful to make sure that I'm just getting the curve once. Or I could have a tangent line up here, right at the top of the curve, horizontal line. That's best I can draw it from that angle. Okay, so these are all tangent lines. Now, it may well be that we also want to find something called a normal to the curve. Now, a normal to the curve sits where the tangent line is, but at right angles to it. So, the normal to the curve at that point is the line that is at right angles to the tangent line. So likewise here. Or up here. OK. These would all be called normal lines to the curve. OK. So it makes sense then that if we've got the gradient function and we know the point that we want to substitute in, that will tell me the gradient of the tangent. Then I can use the negative reciprocal to find the gradient of the normal. And that will allow me to find the equation of the normal from then on. So it's using the coordinate geometry knowledge that we have now in order to find uh, equations of tangents and equations of normals.